a very good morning to everyone welcome to global online and yes a year we are back with our nta ugc net grf preparation for your december cycle that is preparation for your paper 1 december 2023 cycle and as you all are aware that we have started the session on information and communication technology and this is session uh, two. In session one, we have already completed the objectives of uh, ICT as we have also completed various uh, major learning uh, initiatives and we will start with, you know, in next session we'll start with digital initiatives. Today we are having a small uh, session on the topic web that is 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. So we have a detailed analysis on this. Before we go ahead with the session, let's understand what does Global Online has to offer you all learners. So Global Online has brought a complete course for paper one. The complete course for paper one is also available on our Global Online app. This is how the app uh, uh, logo is you can just register yourself with your registered mobile number this is the interface which will look like once you go on UGC net 2023 you'll get this complete course which is actually for 4500 but we have kept a 20 percent off so this course is available at 3600 once you go inside the course, this course will have the content list, which will have various folders as per the uh, faculty members, as per the uh, languages, which is in Hindi, English, as well as Hindi and English, divided based on the various units. Once you go into this units, you will get the theory lectures, you will get the evolution test, you will get the notes, mock test and MCQ lectures. So this will help you to prepare yourself for your paper one. So yes, without wasting time, let's start with the topic that is web 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. Now, before we start with a topic, you know, uh, let's, I'll just take first, I'll explain, okay, uh, sorry, we'll just one by one go with that. So first we will talk about, you know, how these webs are differentiated. So basically the understanding of web 1.0 to 3.0 gives us an idea as that how technologically technology has flown you know uh, in the in the past 2 to 3 decades so the flow of technology how technology has flown in last 2 to 3 decades and that help us to understand how we have moved from 1.0 to 3.0 so you can see over here also 1.0 that is crawling 2.0 walking and 3.0 in the stage of running right so let's first go with 1.0 so when i say 1.0 this is the first stage okay so 1.0 is the first stage of the world wide web so it is www that is world wide web evolution and uh, the features of 1.0 so we'll look at 1.0 before we understand the points we'll just have a little bit basic understanding of 1.0 so 1.0 basically is nothing but it is the static pages so it is recognized as what it is recognized as static pages i'll just clear this out okay so i'll i'm talking about 1.0 so this is nothing but it is called as first stage okay it is an evolution of worldwide web okay right and it is called as what it is called as static pages static page pages sorry which you know the content is served from the service file system so whatever content you have over here it is served from the the service file system and the frames and tables which are used to position and align are what the elements on the page so basically you can see that 1.0 is only mostly read only it is company focus that is from the viewpoint of company with the home pages owning the content as i said web forms in the it is a form of dict dictories it is on in the form of page view the banner advertising is available like for example here as i said okay let us take an example of uh, britannia online okay which has you know the example in the form of html now what is this html as you all know, that is nothing but it is called as hypertext markup language. Okay, it is known as hypertext markup language. You have this, you know, in some of the questions in previous year also. So basically, this is to structure the web page. When I say 1.0, it is basically to structure to structure the web page and its content. So you can see this 1.0 is basically in the form of static page. It is something which is mostly read-only. 
which is focused from the company point of view. It is in the form of home page or owning a home page, sorry, owning the content. Okay. And example I have given, you know, like for example, advertising. In the form of banner is a form of banner advertising and this will help you know to give you the data that is it will help to display the data so html basically as i said it is it is to structure the web page and its con content so it, this is nothing just to what it is just to display it the main in uh, work of html is what it is to display the data right Okay, then moving towards what? Moving towards Web 2.0. That is in the form of what? Walk. Okay, now this refers to, I'm talking about Web 2.0. So I'll just use this space to write some important points. Okay, basically it is the, it, it is, you know, uh, the website that highlights user generated con content. So you can get this, you know, in the form of your statement questions also. It is user generated content. I'm talking about web 2.0. Please be careful. Okay. Now, when I say usability, it is basically usability for the users. Web uh, user generated, it means it can be used by the users. And it is also called as participative social web. I'll repeat again. You should know this very well. It can come in any form. It is called as participative social web. Okay. The web browser technology is used. Is a 2.0 is for the development purpose. That is for the growth, for the progress. Right. So with time here, we have an examples of learning management system, LMS. Okay. We have Moodles, we have, you know, the course and have become course center. This particular web has helped in course centered and teacher driven uh, mobile phones have become integrated with learning. So that was which we have seen in what which we have seen in Web 2.0. So let's see the feature. It is widely read, right? It is with the help of community focus. I said participative social web. So you should know this very well. Blogs and wikis, it is, the sharing, the content is a sharing part. With the help of web applications, tagging, okay. It is cost per click, which is interactive advertising. Example is Wikipedia. And another example is XML and RSS. Now, what does what does this mean? XML, it means it is nothing but extendable, sorry, extensible markup language where you store as well as transfer the data. It is used for what? It is used for storing as well as transferring the data. And RSS. Now, what is the meaning of this RSS? It's nothing but it is called as real simple syndication. Now, what is the meaning of this real simple syndication? It is, you know, web feed. It's like a document which will give you the list of articles. It will give you the list of uh, products. It will give you the list of services. So, RSS is basically easy way to keep yourself updated with the information. So, whatever information is there, it will help you to keep yourself updated. So, that is in the form of what? Web 2.0. That is nothing but a walking style. So, it is user generated called as participative social web. Okay. We have seen the examples, the examples here where we store the data, where we transfer the data and it is helpful, you know, in the form of what it is helpful, the, the tools which can be used in 2.0. So the 2.0 has, you know, the tools like blogging, tagging, as I said, social bookmarking, social networking, social media, social content, web content. So all this comes under the example of what? Example of web 2.0, right? Now let us move to web 3.0. So now when I say web 3.0, what exactly it indicates? So first of all, it is an evolution, as I said, of interaction. So web interaction here, it what it takes into consideration, web interaction and utilization. So you are utilizing as well as interacting. And it, this includes what? It includes altering of web, okay, a database into a database. Altering of web into a database, very important. This can come in statement question. You should be able to answer this question, okay? Now here, the data is not only owned, but also shared. So you have what sharing over here of the data, okay, uh, services which have different views in the form of same, same way, uh, sorry, same web, okay. Now, it has the content like what it has, has the features, it is portable and personal, the focus is individual, live streams of waves, 
consolidating content it is integrated you can call it as smart application it is user behavior user engagement behavioral and this uh, advertising in the form of semantic web now here the examples are given rdf now that is nothing but resource description framework okay you can call it as resource description framework it is basically in three in sorry integrating the data or interconnected connecting of data so it it talks about you know metaverse you know a bridge between a real and the virtual world okay so whatever the gap is there so this gap has been built you know with the help of this metaverse which is used in 3.0 so examples in the form of what examples in the form of you know let us take an example here it talks about online 3d you know uh, virtual spaces so all this you know connecting internet is connecting them with the internet that is having the uh, reality and virtual world into one uh, form and that is the work of what 3.0 so here you have semantic web as i said no, here i've given an example of semantic web so it helps to create share the content artificial intelligence you have 3d graphics you have in the form of computer games in the form of museum guides connectivity you have it has you know metaverse as i said it is basically integrating okay now please um now, like, for example, uh, there was one question, okay, on metaverse and blockchain, okay, under 3.0, it is, you know, Bitcoin, we have, you have to remember that under 3.0, Bitcoin is being used, okay, a cryptocurrency that is, you know, uh, fungible, that is nothing but the, this is based on what it is based on a blockchain, that is link, which is non uh, fungible tokens that represents a unique asset like in the form of what in the form of price uh, that is in or you can say it is basically a piece of art which is you know having the worth which is having uh, you can say value and that's what is taken under what 3.0 in the form of run so please remember a very small topic a lot of important points i have given to you you have to just read it because yes therefore definitely the question comes the question will be more expected you know 3.0 but there can be statement questions which you should be able to answer very well uh with respect to what? With respect to your uh, actual understanding of the topic. So now I'll, every alternate days we will be having the small, small topics of the title of the unit which we are going to do this complete week. So it will help you know whichever topics, small, small topics I can there. You can cover in a separate video and it will help you to do the uh, best for that specific topic or that specific unit. Okay, that's all. Yes, any student who is looking for paper to study material, can get in touch with us we have these following subjects for paper two where you will get notes as well as uh, mcq questions if you are interested in the same please contact us on the given number the fees is rupees 1600 on which you will be getting rupees 20 percent off so the fees will be 1280 so get in touch with us start learning make sure that you are doing your best and you are proceeding ahead with a cracking aim of your UGC net examination in December 2023. Thank you very much. See you in the next class. Have a good day ahead.